Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie Dizon, and today I'm going to be talking about the 10 things that I learned while coming to college. Um, so if you are interested in watching that, and I think you are, um, keep on watching. So I think the first thing, I actually, this is the second time I filmed this because I went through all the lists and realized that this was the very most important thing that I learned to coming to college, so I feel like I should say that first. The biggest thing that I've learned is that high school was the end of a big chapter in my life. Um, which is obvious now that I say it and now that I think about it, but um, I'm a person that is more like excited for the next chapter. I'm always look, thinking towards the future. I never really take in the now or like am appreciative of the now. And so in high school, whenever everything ended, like whenever I had my dance, last dance practice, whenever I had my last class, whenever I had my last dance, I just never really took it in. I was never like, wow, like I'm so blessed to have been able to have such a good high school career. I just never really realized that and then when I get to got to college I had a rough rush and my mom had left and I was all packed in and I had like two days left until like college started and I was like crud like I didn't take anything in and it all hit me at once like nothing will ever be the same and if you're watching this and you're in high school like you might think this is so cheesy but please 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 take in every single moment that you can in high school because once you get to college it's a whole different ball game like when i think back of high school i think of waking up early putting on my makeup waking my brother up going to school with my brother sitting in class for eight hours and then coming home doing homework begging my mom to hang out with my friends like going on sonic runs like all of those memories that i hold so like that I cherish so deeply right now I never took like I never really appreciated it in the moment so that's the biggest thing that I've learned that my adolescent chapter like I'm still young and I'm still learning obviously but that chapter of my life closed and I never really like realized how significant of a jump high school to college actually was with that said I'm going to say the other nine things that are a little less like whoa so the first thing I said is space. I don't think I really appreciated my space at home. I went from having like maybe, I don't know how big my room was, but this is my entire room. Like you can see in, the, in my like camera, I'm like looking at my viewfinder. You can see my roommate's bed. And I don't think you can see the wall, but there's like maybe like two inches left into the wall and that's the entire room. So yeah, that's the first thing I learned that space is, space should be cherished and appreciated the next thing is time i don't think i ever really thought about this in um high school i never realized that i'd go to school at 7 30 and then i would class would get out at about what am i saying class would get out about um 2 20 and then i'd have dance practice from four to five like every day so that was on average about nine or ten hours i was staying in the same area, staying at school, and I just never realized how much time I actually had in a day until I got to college, only had like three hours of class in one day, and then that was it. So I think I learned that time management is a really big thing in life, and, and I just have so much time. So, yeah, that was the second thing that I learned, third thing that I learned. The fourth thing that I learned was that money just money, just in general. I get an allowance each week and um, I have to say $20 is for groceries, $10 is for savings, whatever, this is for this, this is for this. I have to like put things off and I was more of a person that I'm so blessed to have parents who can provide for me and will, will like, like I'm spoiled basically, I'm spoiled. I was blessed that my parents spoiled me because I would like nine, like probably eight times out of 10, I'd be like, mom, I want this. And she would either have it for me like within the next she would probably have it with me within the next two weeks so I never really appreciated like my parents paying for everything it's a totally different mindset when it comes to money now um next thing I learned that is that trash really accumulates fast like this was just a random thing but it was a very valid thing in my room we have two like in my dorm room we have two trash cans 
and those fill up about like two times a week so taking out trash is just like a totally different ball game now i used to like live at home and just throw everything away and trash was usually my brother's chore i would do it every once in a while i just never realized like i just never really appreciated that so or like really noticed that but just trash accumulates fast um parking parking is the worst thing that has ever happened to humankind like Parking is awful. Living on campus, we have to pay like, I think 275 is what I paid. I really don't know. Like from 200 to $300 on a parking pass and they oversell those parking passes. So <sighs> parking is just so bad. There have been times that I have been looping around, and I guess this is at every university. This is probably at a lot of universities. But there was this time that I was like looping around for 45 minutes because I didn't want to park far away. The parking garage was filled. There, it's just, Everything's so inconvenient when it comes to parking at OU. I, I learned that wherever I live, I need to make sure that I have a parking spot. Next, next thing is that grocery shopping. I never realized grocery shopping was such a, like, what am I trying to say? A necessary, that's what, that's the word I was looking for. But such a necessary thing. I think a lot of the times when I was at home, gosh, I sound like such a spoiled brat. I never realized that how much my parents did for me. So shout out if y'all are watching this, I hope you are. Shout out to them for doing it like everything. But my mom would always go to the grocery store, ask what I needed, she'd pick it up. Now I have to like go out, pay for it, like I said. Toilet paper, toilet paper is expensive. That's a grocery need that's like, I never, I never uh, like appreciated that when I was at home. But yeah, that's just something that I learned that grocery shopping is awful. Makeup, Appear just appearances in general. In high school, I would probably dress up like this. Like I would probably wear this, go to school, look nice. Now I can literally roll out of bed and probably I could go to class and people wouldn't care. I feel like if I did that in high school, people would be like, what's wrong with her? It's just that appearances just aren't as stressed in college. Um, for example, just say that I've been in school for 150 days. I think probably 20 days out of those 150, I've gone to school wearing makeup. And I'm sorry, I always, I always struggle with staring at the viewfinder instead of staring at the camera. So the next thing that I learned is that I'm definitely not ready for real life. Like when I, oh my gosh, my battery's gonna die. But like whenever I graduate, I'm going to have to go out to the real life, learn what a lease is, learn how banks work. And I'm just definitely not prepared for that. The last thing that I have learned is that I'm getting old. Like, this year I turned 20. That's just a weird, 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 weird feeling to me. I just don't know if I'm ready for that. So that is a really big thing that I've learned. And yeah, I'm not like getting old, old. It's just that like, wow, I've lived a while now. I'm in going into my 20s, which is like the third decade that I've will have been alive for. Those are the 10 things that I learned. I hope my camera doesn't die before I finish this outro, but thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Please just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to, um, or even if you wouldn't like to, you should still do it anyway. And I hope to see you in the next one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my list. Okay, bye.